guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for clicking on today's video. So as you can tell, I am back with another lip focused video. You guys really liked when I did the nudes for dark skin. So this time I'm going to do reds for dark skin. I'll be showcasing 10 different red shades on my lips with the swatches as per usual. Uh, these are mostly liquid lipsticks, but also I think two bullet lipsticks as well. All the details will be in the description, regular degular. Otherwise, let's just get started. Oh, I almost forgot. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Join the fam gang. Would love to hear from you in the comments as well. And also make sure you go follow me over on Instagram. Otherwise, let's actually get started. <laughs> now, you don't have to be scared of bright red lips. If you have dark skin like mine, what you need to do is just figure out how you're going to play around with lip liners to make it blend in the same way that we do with nude lipsticks. It can be the same for um, uh, red shades or bright shades as well. I'll be pairing most of my lipsticks with a liner and there's three specific ones that I'm going to use. One is a super cheapy one. This is from LA Girl. It's in the shade Forever Red. It's just a nice, beautiful red that kind of works with a lot of kind of mid-toned reds. Uh, the next one is this one and it is from Kiko Milano and it is in the shade 515. It's a just also a really nice kind of um, red that works with a lot of tones. And then for the deeper shades or if I want to kind of darken it up, then I'll be working with this. And this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Ellery. So you'll be seeing those three kind of in rotation as I do the lip swatches. So on to the colors. The first shade that I want to show you is this one and it's actually the newest in my collection. It is Joanna K Cosmetics in the shade Boss. And it screams boss, it's everything about it. I love the name of this because it just like really conceptualizes what I think a lot of people think about when they think about boss lady. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and then we'll put this on. So like all other Joanna K liquid lipsticks, this comes with that kind of flat applicator, which makes it really nice to get the edges nice and sharp. Um, but I'm gonna start off in the center of my lip with this and then uh, blend it out. It's just such a good color and I think even though it is a bright shade it doesn't look scary. It doesn't lean towards orange it really just is a nice blue based bright red so that just means it works beautifully even on darker tones. Um, just be careful with your liner and try and get it nice and even as you're applying it because you want it to blend nicely. You don't want a massive contrast between that bright and your skin but otherwise she cute. Okay, next up is one of my absolute favorites and that's this right here. It is Cherry Blossom by Colored Rain. There is something about this color that is so unique. I know it's a red shade, so how unique can it get? But it's really a color that I've tried to like shade match with so many of the other colors that I have. I haven't found anything that really hits this on the head because sometimes this goes out of stock and it's hard to get hold of. It still remains really popular and looks incredible on all skin tones, but particularly on dark. Oh, it looks so good. So I'm going to put it on for you to see so that I can stop rambling, but just know I love it. This also has one of those flat type applicators like the Joanna K lipsticks, although it's a little bit longer, um, which kind of allows you to cover your lip pretty quickly. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> it's just so pretty. It's just such a good color. I feel like it gives enough contrast to dark skin, but also allows it to be a statement without shouting. I don't know how to explain. It is rich enough that it kind of picks up on the richness in your dark skin and kind of bounces off that. So it just looks exquisite. I don't know how else to say it. This shade is everything. <laughs> The next shade has been one of my favorites for years since I discovered it, and that is this right here. It is the ColourPop um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Arriba. Um, it's a bestseller with good reason. Looks great on, I think, medium skin tones and also dark skin tones. It is also quite bright, and I think quite similar to the Joanna shade that I showed you earlier. Um, but this one has like a bit of a lighter formulation, so it feels more like nothing on your lips. Um, slightly more than the, the Joanna one, which is why I sometimes reach for this one if I'm doing like um, a quick thing I need to be up and go. 
This has a standard doe foot applicator, which sometimes I think I like because it doesn't pick up too much product. I find that sometimes the flat ones pick up so much product that you end up with too much on your lips, whereas with this, you can be controlled in the way that you apply it. So do you see what I mean? That it gives that real pop of color and there's something about bright shades that um, are just lovely when your makeup is kind of pared back and you want your lips to be the talking point of your face and maybe the rest of your outfit is quite neutral or sometimes, you know, you could do this like a red on red, but I don't know, there's something about this color, I just love it. And you can pick this one up on Cocoon right now. Let me show you another ColourPop favorite of mine. It's such a unique shade and it's this right here. It's the shade Starcrossed. It's a red, but it has a little bit of pink in it. So it's kind of like a pink based red, which, just kind of changes what it means to have a red lip on when you have that kind of pink base because it pulls it um, to a more kind of warm place in a way. When you have like an orange based red, it kind of pulls to like party, fiesta, ooh. But whereas you wear something like this, it kind of pulls it to a bit more cozy, a little bit more snuggly. It just gives me a feeling of like extra warmth and depth. Uh, I'm going to wear this one with the Ella Ree liner just to show you how you can also deepen it up. Depending on how much liner you put on, of course, um, you can alter how this colour looks on the lips. So all up to you, makeup is fun, give it a go. Because I've gone in quite deep with the liner, you can see that it's giving it more of a vampy look and I'm getting a beautiful ombre. But you can see it's that kind of deep, ready pink that's kind of like cranberry almost. It's just gorgeous. I love this for more vampy looks. If I want to wear it kind of on its own, I will go for a more red liner, which will kind of make it look a little bit more red. But I like to wear it with this kind of deep, um, dark purpley type of night moth type liner because it brings a little bit more richness to the look. I've got to tell you guys, these lip swatches, <laughs> not easy, especially you're taking off um, lipstick and putting it back on. I'm putting on a little bit of Vaseline in between each one to make sure that my lips don't become completely raw. <laughs> Another Kenyan brand that I love and talk about on this channel all the time is Crayons and Ink and I've mentioned this liquid lipstick and their others and their glosses on this um, channel before. I, I don't know what it is about this brand but I just love them. Now I think they're too bored. <laughs> so this shade is called Kenyan Girl. It is a beautiful classic red. I'm going to show you what it looks like on. Uh, I just love it. Yeah, but there's enough. Kenyan Girl for me is the red for people that want to wear a red lipstick but are a little bit too worried to go bright and don't want to end up in like a really vampy look. It's just that kind of nice staple red that you can put on, you don't have to worry about it. You can even put it on without a liner because it's just kind of that red. It, it doesn't kind of clash with your skin, it doesn't look too bright, too deep where it kind of looks like it's bleeding over the edge no it's just beautiful so it really is that kind of every girl's red shade and i think that's why i love it so much the other thing i love a lot about this um liquid lipstick is the applicator it's a doe foot applicator but it's got a bit of a dip which means that it hugs your lips in such a beautiful way and allows the liquid lipstick to go on really nicely dries down effortless not too dry and lightweight on the lips. All right, let's do an absolute throwback. And this one is because it's just that girl. It will never die. Max Ruby Woo. Sorry, I'm just digging it out of my little pot down here. Max Ruby Woo, absolutely love this. Loved it since, you know, I discovered it. It's just phenomenal. There is also another shade called Russian Red that I need to show you guys that's kind of similar to Ruby Woo, but it's not as drying, but it has a little bit more orange in it than Ruby Wee, which is very, very blue based. This is definitely heading on its way to being expired. <laughs> I need to just basically get a fresh one of this, but I'll show it to you on the lips so that you can get an idea of what it looks like if you haven't seen Ruby Wee on my skin tone before and you're wondering still about it. I think they also do this now as a um, liquid lipstick as well, which I think I might pick up as well. So anyway, enough rambling, let me get into it. I feel about Ruby Woo the same way I feel about Cherry Blossom. They're such unique shades of red. I feel like other colors come close and can come very close to them, but it's just not quite the same. And that's why I just keep repurchasing this and I always have it on stand, even now when I'm telling you I wanna buy another one. Um, it's because I know that there's not quite a color like this in my collection or that I've seen out there that comes to dupe this color. It's just incredible, um, forever an OG. It's very drying though, in terms of being a matte formulation, so do put down some 
you know Vaseline beforehand that will help a lot Ruby Woo is also one of those colors that just looks like Every time you see it on somebody, it looks different. And you know what that colour is, and in your mind you're like, oh, I wonder whether she's wearing Ruby Woo. But then you're like, no, it doesn't quite look like that. It's something different. And you ask, and then they tell you it's Ruby Woo. And you're like, oh, okay, that's why. It's just, yeah, she's, she's big. She's big. We like her. Because we're on bullet lipsticks, I want to show you this one. And this is one of my favourite, like, drugstore affordable formulas for lipsticks bullet lipsticks and that is the Colourpop ones i don't know but they just seem to get lip products so 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 right it's a beautiful color um and this formulation is a matte but it's also a velvet blur so it kind of does this blurring soft focus effect on the lips which i kind of like not all the time but there are times when i want that kind of a look but the color of this is beautiful so let me pop on a liner and then i can show you what it looks like the formulation of this and all these Colourpop lipsticks is that they're really just smooth on the lips. So it doesn't tug, it doesn't pull, and you can kind of layer it up as you go. So you can see I was kind of going over it, particularly on the bottom lip, to get the richness of colour that I wanted. But this is what it looks like on. I love her. Uh, the last three lipsticks that I want to show you are more of deep reds. So going into that spectrum, the first one is this one right here. It is from Sephora. I don't know what these are actually called. Oh, they're called Cream Lip Stains, and this is in the shade 94. I don't know whether it has an actual name, but it's the shade number 94 for reference. Uh, I don't think I need a line of this, so I'm just going to pop it right on. Again, this is one of those colors that you can just pop on and go because it is deep enough to do so. Um, it's very blue based, which I love in my red lipsticks, as you've seen from what I've shown you. Um, and it's very, very comfortable on the lips. It almost has like a moussey texture, but not quite. But it definitely has that kind of feeling as you're applying it. So it's super creamy. You can kind of go over it quite a bit until you get it right. But it dries down to a really nice powdery matte. It is a bit difficult to take off, so make sure you're using an oil rather than like um, a micellar water or something to remove it. Uh, but it's gorgeous. There's a reason I left the dark shades until last and that's because my lips are now stained. <laughs> so we're definitely getting a lot of that um, depth of colour still remaining on the lips. Especially with that Sephora one because it kind of penetrates. Another affordable favourite, that's this right here. It is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream and it's in the shade Devotion. I have loved this for the longest time. The formula to this for me, to the, the formula of this to me is beautiful and actually quite comfortable on the lips. This also does come in a satin formulation, but I haven't tried that one. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what this one looks like on. It also has a flat applicator, so similar to the other ones where you can kind of use it to line your lips and be more precise. So again, if you're looking for a shade that's a bit more muted in terms of the red tone and not too kind of um, bold and shouty, then definitely look up this one. It's a great alternative. Very lightweight on the lips as well, so it doesn't feel like there's too much going on and you can wear this for a number of hours without it kind of breaking up and fading. With this formulation though, I do also prefer to use an oil cleanser and honestly, the way that I've been sorting out my lips in between these swatches, I would suggest that you use an oil cleanser anyway. <laughs> The last shade I have to show you is also from MAC and it's this right here. It is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colour uh, in the shade Dance With Me. It's a nice kind of deep but almost got slightly pink undertones to it, like berry shades to it. Um, you'll see when I put it on. If you follow me on Instagram when I bought this a few months ago at the beginning of just before lockdown, you remember I said that I got it and it was broken. Um, already around the glass rim. I was supposed to transfer this to a a container, but whom's am I? <laughs> I'm gonna get something to put in it to basically make it a little bit more liquefied again. Maybe something like the Inglot Duraline will help me out with this. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna apply this with a lip brush so that you can get the idea of the color, which is what matters. The reason I love this color so much is because it's a kind of alternative red. So for people that don't want to wear a classic standard red shade, you still don't want to wear red, but you don't want to be so red. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful alternative. And in the same way that Star Cross that I showed you earlier from Colourpop has a bit of pink in it, it kind of gives that same 
feel where it is red, but it's a little bit different. It feels almost like an alternative shade that you would wear over Christmas time if you don't want to wear a standard red, or to a date night if you don't want to wear like, you know, a standard red, but you want to give the illusion of red, but not quite. <laughs> She's that kind of girl. I love her for that. Um, again, really, really comfortable. And in fact, even as this has dried down, it's kind of gone into a mousse consistency, which just applies beautifully with a brush. So I don't know. I think I kind of like it <laughs> like that, but you'll of course get a more liquid version um, of your own. All right. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this rundown. As I said at the beginning, everything will be in the description box. Ones that are available on Cocoon Beauty will be asterisks. So if you see anything there that you like, then hit us up um, over on Instagram and we'll sort you out. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye.